So, most gyms are closed. That means you can lose your gains. And we all care about our gains. So, the big question is, will you lose your gains? How long does it take to lose gains? In this video, it will all make sense. Most people are forced to take a break from the gym. And some people just train outside or work out at home with bodyweight exercises. First off, taking too long of a break can definitely make you lose the muscle and cardio fitness you've gained. How quickly and the chance this will happen to you will depend on several factors. In most cases, you won't lose much strength if you take three to four weeks off. In this video, I will talk specific about athletes. You can consider people who has exercised for five to six times a week for more than a year an athlete. So I'm talking about the die hearts. If you're a beginner, don't worry too much, bro. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel out and subscribe and hit the bell button. I'm not gonna blab on, so let's get into it. Athletes can start to lose their muscle strength in about three weeks if they're not working out, according to a 2013 study. Athletes typically lose less overall muscle strength during a break than non-athletes do. In general, you can take up to three or four weeks off without seeing a noticeable drop in your strength performance. This seems shocking and not expected, but although the systematic review showed this, this is the case, I still think it can be different from person to person, more specifically, your age and sex. Your age and sex can also play a role in how quickly you lose muscle and strength. For older people, it becomes increasingly harder to maintain muscle mass and strength during a break. Older people experience a bigger drop in their strength and muscle mass. One study from 2000 group participants by age 20 to 30 years old and 65 to 75 year olds put them all through the same training program and period of inactivity. During the six month break, the older participants lost strength almost twice as fast as the younger ones. Twice as fast! The study found no significant difference in strength loss between men and women within the same age groups. However, the older women were the only ones to return to their baseline fitness level after a six month break, meaning they had lost all their progress. Menopause? is most likely the cause for the loss of strength in the older female participants. For those who do not know what menopause means, menopause is when a woman hasn't menstruated in 12 consecutive months and can no longer become pregnant naturally. It usually begins between the ages of 45 and 55, but can develop before or after this age range. So women who cannot get pregnant anymore could experience this problem much faster. A 2009 study found that menopause causes a decline in estrogen and a decline in estrogen decreases muscle mass and strength. People always see estrogen as a bad hormone, but you have to know that estrogen is an anti-catabolic hormone. So estrogen does not deserve such a bad rap. After a week or more, you will experience a decrease in muscle size but this will be mainly glycogen levels that would have been declined. For those who do not know what glycogen is, glycogen is a form of sugar that can be easily stored by our muscles and liver. It is the predominant storage form of glucose and carbohydrates in animals and humans. And you have to understand, glycogen makes the muscle look much bigger. That's why every bodybuilder carves up before a show. So if you do not train for a week, your muscles will look smaller due to the glycogen loss. You are not actual losing skeletal muscle and strength. So do not worry, bro. Your muscle glycogen stores will quickly refill when you start training again. In fact, one 2013 study from the University of Tokyo found that people who trained intermittently with six weeks on and three weeks off gained virtually the same amount of muscle of subjects who just kept training for 24 weeks. The only difference was that the muscle size of their intermittently trained group 
fluctuated a lot as you can see compared to the group that kept training and guys if you like the video like it right now and subscribe to the channel hit that bell button it really helps the algorithm so will you lose muscle during this crisis if you still train at home or outside if you're still able to i would not worry because you are still stimulating the muscle even when you do body weight exercises maybe it's not the most optimal way to build a lot of muscle but as you progress to more difficult variations and increase the number of repetitions you perform with various exercises you will continuously challenge your neuromuscular system your body will respond by synthesizing more protein and laying down more muscle tissue in essence your body adapts by building a bigger engine so you should not worry bro and even if you lose a little bit not a problem there's something that's called muscle memory if you want to know more about that you should check this video out and guys this is all i have for you in this video i hope your ass is calmed down now if you like the video like it subscribe and i'll see you next time bro much love